So text fields, text inputs, text boxes, they're all just control elements that allow you as a user to enter or edit text. There's plenty of ways that you can design these and it all really just comes down to the choice that you make as a designer. Usually the look and feel of components depends on the use case. In this tutorial, I'll go over auto layout text box components that have these little expand icons in the bottom right corner. This is a small Figma hack that allows you to specify exactly what positioning you want to have for an element in any given auto layout frame. Let me show you guys what I mean. So first and foremost, we'll create an auto layout text box. And this is simply done by creating a text layer. Text layer, zoom all the way in. Uh, let's turn this into a text box. So the first thing you want to do is click shift a which will automatically turn this into an auto layout which you see in the top left corner under the layers panel what's good about frames over groups is the fact that you can actually add settings properties and things like that since it's auto layout it's automatically a frame so basically here we want to give it a background color and we want to set a radius of two pixels so it has these rounded corners by default the padding around this text box is set to eight pixels if you want to define the specific padding for an auto layout box uh, you can do so here on the right side of it um, you can specify this to be 12 pixels at the top 12 pixels at the bottom and let's stick to eight pixels on the left and right side let's add a stroke we'll place it on the outside and now you pretty much have an auto layout box so whatever we type it will automatically increase and decrease in size so in this example you see that the the outer layer or the the actual box around the text layer increases or decreases in size depending on the content inside this is determined by a setting that we call hug contents in this case we want to make sure that this is set to a fixed width and that the text layer just fills the container this basically means that whatever we type is going to fit in to the fixed width of this box. So you can decide exactly what size or what width the, the text box needs to be in. And by default, this text layer inside will automatically fill the container. It's set to hug contents, which basically means that this frame doesn't have any defined height but rather it depends on the content inside so it will automatically hug the content and it will stick to these different settings that we have set here for the margin so it will always be in in these padding settings so if the size of the content inside increases by default the box will increase too all right so the next thing that we want to do is create this expand icon so what we'll do is the following let's create a frame eight by eight pixels let's make it really small draw out this little icon Let's make it even in size. Let's turn this into a six pixel one. Add rounded corners. And you can make it however you want to. That's really up to you. Let's make the bottom part four pixels. Select both of them. Hold command E to flatten out the layers and turn it into one vector layer hold shift and then just rotate 45 degrees and now you have one of these icons 
I would probably uh, command E this one as well so that it's automatically set as default and we see this as a squared icon. Now that we have this, let's rename this to expand icon, make it transparent so remove the background layer and this frame, let's rename this to text box container. All right, so we have this one placed here at the bottom and we have this one right here. So the next step that we're going to do is nest these into one bigger auto layout component. Nesting auto layout component is really efficient and this is one of the reasons why it is. So let me show you how this is done. So if you take this text box container, hold shift A, turn this into another auto layout. So what actually happens here on the left side, you can see that we have one auto layout frame called frame one, which is the outer container. It contains the inner container that we just created called text box container. What we really want to do now is add this expand icon inside of this one so that the, the main component, the main frame holds both of these in inside of one component. And if we proceed, we can see by default, it adds this padding around the item as eight. We want to remove this by default. We also see these 10 pixels being added as a spacing between different elements, which basically means that if we add this inside, it's automatically going to be a 10 pixel spacing between the top item and the bottom item. We want to make sure that this spacing is removed. And for this one, it's automatically going to constrain the proportions. Let's make sure that that's removed because we want to have this frame to fill up the whole container. We want to do the same thing for this one. We don't want this to be a fixed width. We want the, the outer layer to be a fixed width the one container inside or the one auto layout frame inside, we want it to fill the container so that no matter what size we make the outer layer, the inside frames will always expand and fill that container. This icon we want to place all the way to the right side, just like we intended to. We want to set the, the constraints for this to be right and bottom. Take this frame. The height is set to eight pixels, which gives us this distance. This is something that we want to avoid. So this little, little trick right here that I'm about to show you makes this element a zero pixel dimension, which basically means that, you know, in this case, we can't type in zero, but if you type in 0 0.001, it's forcing this element to bring it all the way down to zero pixels. If you uncheck clip content, you're gonna see the, the vector file here again, uh, which is inside of this frame. And now we have it perfectly placed in a way that we want it to. And now you can reposition it however you want to. Let's make sure that all of the settings are right before we turn this into an actual component. So we have the text box container, it fills the container, the layer inside, the text layer inside, it fills the container, it hugs the content. We have the expand icon, which fills the container, the vector file inside of it is set to right constraint and bottom constraint and the layer outside let's rename this to main component it's a fixed width and it hugs the content inside so let's make a copy of this one and let's see how this actually works add whatever you want inside and you can see how perfectly responsive this is it automatically resizes 
depending on the content inside. But if you want to force resize it, you can do it as well. And it works flawlessly. So let's turn this into a component. Option Command K. Now, if we just click Shift I, we can find the component. We can add it inside any frame that we'd like to. Let's say we want to add it inside of an app frame. And if we want to resize it, we can do so. And this box will automatically adjust depending on the content inside. Height is hugging the content. The width is fixed. Booyah! All right, y'all, that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure to subscribe, turn on notifications, and hit that like button below for more videos like this. If you have any questions or even requests on things that you guys want to learn, just let me know in the comments below and I'll get back to you ASAP. Catch you guys in a few.